What's going on everybody? This is Josh with Transparent Reviews and today we're going outside. We're looking at this Century Harvest barbecue thermometer that was sent to me by the company Isn Live. We're gonna take a look at it here. You can see it's another product made in China, but that doesn't necessarily mean it is bad. We've been looking at a lot of products that are sent to me from overseas and sometimes they're good and sometimes they're bad. So let's check this one out. You can see here we have the uh, quality assurance logo. We're gonna pull that off and pull this device out of here. Packaged nicely, it's full of uh, bubble wrap within here. Let's see what's inside. Nice looking thermometer there, pretty large, larger than I expected. You can see it has uh, different buttons on there for taste, light, meat, on and off button. Prongs look durable. See there's a battery cover on the back, another button there, and it requires a screwdriver. You're gonna wanna have AAA batteries, they don't come with it. But what does come with it is a little screwdriver, which is nice, especially because the screw is so tiny. Right there, you can kind of see what their recommendations are for the different meat temperatures. We're gonna go ahead and get this unscrewed and get all the batteries in there and get this thing turned on. All right, let's go ahead and turn it on, flip it over. That button there itself though is actually just for the Celsius and Fahrenheit conversions. So if you want it to be Celsius or you want it to be Fahrenheit, you gotta hit that button on the back. Uh, the on off button is there, it's labeled meat. It also helps you select through the different meat choices. If you wanna turn it off, hold it in for three seconds and it'll turn off. And when it says light, it doesn't just mean that there's a light on the device and lighting up the LCD. What it means is that there's actually a little flashlight that lights up your meat. So if you're cooking in the dark, there you go. All right, let's take this thing outside and put it to good use. As you can see, we got some chicken thighs going here. Cooking them on a copper pad just to collect the fat so I don't have to clean up too much later. Just a reminder too, you wanna to keep it on Fahrenheit if you are measuring it with Fahrenheit. You wanna select your meat. I have it set on chicken. Obviously it's not done yet, but let's go ahead and see what the temperature reads right now. Ninety-seven degrees Fahrenheit. That is not done. So we need to keep this going. I like this thermometer because it's so durable that I could use it to even flip the chicken. We're finally up to 180 degrees, so it's safe to eat. And we're gonna go ahead and put some teriyaki coating on the top here. And there you have it. That is the Century Harvest Isn't Live Barbecue Thermometer. Really easy to use, very versatile, and pretty durable in my opinion. I really like the light. I like how it has all the different uh, meat temperatures in there. So definitely check it out. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for joining me.